Happy Thursday! Welcome back to a new M Weekly. Look who's here. Hello, hello, there he is. In, inside a pile of washing. I feel like my mum and my grandma, guys, but it is great weather to hang the washing outside. I put a few loads on. I feel like a domestic goddess. I'm back from Ibiza. This one's here now. And we're actually heading out for dinner tonight. I'm wearing this little dress, which I love. If you were following my Ibiza stories, you'll know that I love I loved it. I posted it and I was like, oh my god, I love this dress. So I've decided to start the vlog today on a Thursday because I've, it's just been such a busy week with like doing work and stuff. Didn't really have time to vlog. So we're heading out for dinner. We've been invited to the most insane dinner tonight. I'm from Great British Bake Off and Vita Coco. So it's a press event that we've been invited to, like a blogger dinner. I'm allowed a plus one, so Adam is my plus one. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're so excited. So we're gonna take you along with us. It is roasting, so I can't wait. I'm just gonna quickly show you my dress in full view. First time in history, there is no surge on Ubers. So Ubers always go on surge if it's busy. Even though it's 6 p.m., it's obviously just not busy right now because it's sunny and most normal people are walking. So yeah, this is a dress. I've had a fake tan disaster, so I've got boots on to cover that up. <laughs> See, life hats with them. So we're gonna go hop in our little Uber now, head over to White City House. It's uh, in um, Hammersmith, which is in London, obviously. And yeah, let's go and eat. I can't wait to show you guys this. I'm excited for a refreshing drink, some good food, and I don't know who's going. Let's see. In that gram shot, Shelly. Get those angles. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's go get a drink. We're just sat down, look at this. Can we talk about also, wait. Look how good this light looks on my brother. He's got like the light shining. He's just about to upload an Instagram picture. Got, got you the angle, got you the angle. Oh yeah, these are drink tokens. Look, have you had your bounty? Oh my God, eat your bounty. I think it's a bounty that Vita Coco made. How good is that? Unreal, unreal. Fun fact about my brother, he used to work on the cheese aisle in Morrison's. Tell them some knowledge. If you want some camembert, you want some <laughs> some mature cheddar, I can tell you that. And he used to know all the Christmas specials and he'd bring them home at a discounted price. Here he is, look. Bringing them. Chin chin. Thank you. Say <laughs> what? Say your name on my phone, yeah. Three o'clock in the morning. We've been going and going back and forth because we don't know better. And I thought we'd be different. Yeah, we were on to some good shit. We keep dancing with the devil, but he doesn't have a back door. No. Should be pulling away from the fire. Should go, but I don't even try. Gone in the deep end tonight. Tonight, tonight. I just wanna love ya. I just wanna love ya. I just wanna love ya. morning so you just saw a PT session with myself and Chris my personal trainer we've done two this week so that was really good my body is aching I'm in tatters Chris you kill my legs my tans completely come off I need to have a good old scrub just to dry my hair using the Dyson hair dryer we were gifted it ages and ages ago I'm talking like years ago and it's insane the boys fight over it, it makes my hair so nice not even straightened my hair I've just dried it normally wearing this which you might remember from my Ibiza vlog little two-piece and we're heading out for lunch dinner last night was so good with Vita Coco everyone else pronounces it Vita Coco I say Vita I feel like I'm saying it wrong it doesn't seem right to say Vita Coco Anyway, it was great and all of the food was infused with coconut water, so thank you for inviting me. We had such a fun night. 
came back, did some work, watched Love Island. Can't believe how much abuse Love Island contestants are getting on social media. It's actually just not cool. People like preach about mental health and then have a go at everyone on Love Island. It's just really rude. Anyway, I'm heading out for some lunch now. I'm going to pharmacy in Notting Hill. One of my, that's my brother using the Dyson. We love that. <laughs> um, one of my favorite restaurants in Notting Hill. I'm meeting with a friend that I've not seen since. I lived with her in my fourth year of uni, so it'll be so nice to catch up with her. Let's go eat. Back from lunch, that was amazing. Pharmacy is one of my favorite places ever, ever. If you're in London, go there, get the nachos, get the mac and cheese, get the burger. It's, it's vegetarian, not vegan actually, but a lot of vegan options, it's so good. Also, this just came. What an amazing gift, thank you so much, Verano. This is watermelon gin. This is Spanish lemon gin. I can't cope. What a dream, I cannot wait to crack some of this out. So just went to Sainsbury's, we've actually been doing quite a lot of work today after the lunch and we've got loads of sushi which we are going to crack open tonight. How good does this look? And then Fantastic Services came which is kindly gifted to me and look, my cleaner folded up my clothes and took them off the washing, aisle, oh, washing aisle, washing line. How amazing is that? She goes above and beyond. It's time. Go for it. Good morning, hello from sunny Liverpool. So this morning, Matt and I hopped on the train from London to Liverpool. Hey Matt. Hello. Oh, are you behind me? I can't tell. And we are now in Formby. We were kindly invited to stay at Formby Hotel, Spa and Golf Resort. I'll leave a link below a while ago. And we've been trying to make the date work. And me and Matt definitely need like a nice little relaxing romantic weekend with spa, dinner. They do some really good packages here. So check the link out below. So I thought... What a better weekend to do it other than the hottest weekend of the year we've ended up coming. So we were kindly gifted this day and I just thought I'd vlog it because why on earth not? I mean, I'm gonna give you a room tour, show you around, and then you're just gonna come with us on a little date weekend. I know this area quite well because I have quite a lot of friends who live in Ormskirk, Wigan, these kind of areas. And Formby has the most amazing beach, so we'll probably have to try and visit that tomorrow. But basically, 15 minutes down the road, there's an amazing beach with sand dunes. And I'm just really excited to be here. I absolutely, I'm northern, obviously, so I love being back up north. Even just getting in the cab, we went to Liverpool Lime Street Station and got a cab from there. Oh my god, Matt, a plane just flew past, like a little plane. Oh, you can't see it, you're like a tiny plane and landed. What? Yeah, even just getting in a cab from the station at Liverpool Lime Street, I was like, I love Scousers. People who are Scouse are technically people from Liverpool, and oh my gosh, it's the best accent, They're the warmest, kindest people ever. I loved it. So I'm wearing this little outfit. This is meant to be like quite plungy, but I've just popped a little pin in it. So without further ado, let me give you a little room tour. This is me and my outfit. I was wearing something earlier that really washed my color out. I feel a lot better now. Oh look, there's like 12 of me. Absolute hell, Matt, come and look at this. Come look in the mirror. Nightmare, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of me. Look in the mirror. Oh yeah, that's not a pretty size, is it? Nine of me! <laughs> this insane bed. I was just saying to Matt, I think this is a Beatles lyric because they're from Liverpool. Am I wrong? I think I'm right. And it's obviously a golf resort. The taxi driver was telling us it's one of the best golf courses actually in the area. So this is why there's a golf picture. And then I think these must be the sand dunes that they have at Formby Beach down the side of the hotel. This is a bed. This is actually really cool. It's kind of like water. Such a big room. This is a fireplace, which I'm hoping Matt's gonna put on tonight for us. It's like the hottest day of the year, but I'm still like, please put the fireplace on for me tonight. We have our own whole lounge area. How comfortable and cozy is this? 
we were given these on check-in. Cheers, Matt. Gin, gin, which is so nice. And then, guys, you know that I'm gonna be all over this. M shell bath, look at that. You guys also know that I love Espar. Ah, and it's Espar products that they use, and then there's a little bath, a little bath, a little TV in here, meaning that I will be watching Love Island in there tonight. So there we have it, guys. I think we're gonna go and grab some lunch now. I actually love this top so much. So we'll go grab some lunch now and do some exploring and use the spa, of course. Ah, I'll have a fry. <laughs> and I'll have a bite. Uh, and I got a stir fry. Wow, your girl is full. I just ate so much food. Matt was sat there and he was like, I wish I had friends to play golf with. I just want to play golf purely so I can sit and have beers in between. So we were sat on like an outdoor terrace area. I had um, a stir fry, Matt had the barbecue. They have like a barbecue terrace at the moment every kind of weekend and it was so nice, good live music, good food. We were gonna get alcohol but we're gonna try and gym later so we didn't get alcohol but they had jugs of pims, jugs of mojito which is one of my favorite cocktails and I, yeah, I had orange juice instead. I held out, I don't know how I did that. Matt had a burger off the barbecue which tasted amazing because I had a bite and I did have some of his fries. So I just got changed, oh! I just got changed into an easy to take off dress because I'm going to the spa. I'm so excited to go and chill out and enjoy this now. I just feel like I feel like I have to have a full belly before I do anything because otherwise I get really hungry. So time to go in. There. Oh, I can see someone sat in their robe over there. That's gonna be me in a few seconds. This is the outfit. So this is a little jacket that I actually got for New York in winter. But you know what? It's working out as a really nice summer jacket to throw on. Little dress that I love. And then these sandals, I can't stop wearing them. They are kind of like a dupe of Hermes sandals, Hermes, Hermes, um, but they were seven pounds. I'm pretty much in love, so I'll link everything on this vlog as always below, guys. Also, I know I'm a bit pale, but I'm pale because I'm going back to Ibiza on Wednesday of this week. This is going live Friday. When this video goes live, I'll be in Ibiza. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to let this tan leave my body so I can reapply it fresh on Tuesday night. Right, spa time. We are all spa now. I had a great lunch, great spa now. Look at me. Just done 40 minutes on the bike, doing some little cardio. Can't really wait. My legs are hurting way too much from a session I did with my PT Chris yesterday. But I can do a bit of cardio. Let's work out. Make myself a bit more sweaty. This gym's great. I love a hotel with a good gym. Why does my boyfriend get into any room and turn the TV on? I am forever pressing mute. So loud. I'm out of the gym now. My hair is super sweaty. This is my gym kit from Fabletics. It was kindly gifted to me. Nice and breathable. I really, really like it. Um, I'll link it below. My hair is nice and sweaty. Matt's just in the shower, then I'm gonna get in the shower. We are then gonna get ready. We have dinner tonight in the grill downstairs, which I'm super excited about. I called to make a late reservation. And they were like, yeah, but we're fully booked up. So it must be good if it's fully booked up. We walked past today and it looked super nice. 
but we might have a little walk around before dinner as well so hopefully I can get ready quick enough but I love gymming and the gym in the spa is really good so when I come to spas I always try and force myself to gym and actually make use of the hotel but do cardio because I'm used to doing my blaze classes which is quite like weight heavy and sometimes I just love how weird am I love not love but you know I like the endorphins afterwards sitting on a bike and just Sweating. So I actually changed. I can't decide if I look like a grandma, a ballerina, or I don't know. Matt, what do you think? Nice. It just doesn't fit the boobs properly, so I can't put a stick on bra on. But it's cute and meshy, right? Let's go and eat. We're gonna have to go for a walk after because we are very late as always. <laughs> shouldn't walk on the green I don't think oh look at those trees are all golden at the top is that the light or the tree wow. that is divine this is gonna be the picture would you look at that Wow You do this, I want to do the camera, quick! is here. Matt got a fry up. We got it in the room. I got bran with some bread, obviously. Some fruit, some orange juice, and I also got some beans and egg, which is over there because I love beans. Yummy. Good morning from a fresh-faced M. Home's under the hammer on in the background. We just demolished this breakfast. Dinner was so good last night. The calamari was so fresh. Literally amazing. Then I had duck. Matt, what did you have? Oh, you had um, Moroccan chicken. Loads of healthy options, which was really nice. We did have salt and pepper fries with it as well. Didn't have bread for like the first time ever, but there was bread on the menu. We didn't have dessert because we were like, no, actually we're really full from lunch and we're being super healthy, apart from our chips. Um, we had amazing vegetables. I love it when a restaurant bring out good greens and it was like asparagus and broccoli and ah, oh, filled up on that, I'm doing well, I'm proud. So we just had amazing breakfast, came back chilled, oh, I had an amazing bath, we walked around the grounds which is stunning, I did not expect the sunset to look like that. We saw the baby ducks, did you see them, they were so cute, what the, the most beautiful sunset, head over to my Instagram now, go and check out my picture from this day because the sunset is so cute, finally something more orange than me. So I'm going for a massage now, so excited, time for a full body massage. So that massage was amazing. You can hear Coronation Street on it in the background. We're just about to check out our room. I'm wearing this. I'm very pale. Um, we're gonna go on a bike ride today. We were given some maps, let me show you. Last night, this is just me. Just popped a new video live, my Ibiza vlog. We're gonna go, basically, the hotel is so close to so much stuff. We're gonna go find some red squirrels and we're gonna go try find the sand dunes. Basically gonna try and cycle all the way to the beach which I'm so excited about. I feel like this is just going to be beautiful so we're going to go hire some bikes from reception and say goodbye to this gorgeous room. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah. 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 Very windy, even though it's nice and hot. We're back. We did it. How was that, Matt? Yeah, good. I like Formby Hall because they have a whole thing in the room all about like well-being, so you can go for a run, go get a bike. Sorry, thank you. You can even go horse riding. So if we come back, I'm gonna make this one come horse riding with me. <laughs> yeah. I love horse <laughs> but I love that because it's all about well-being. You know, have a cocktail in the evening, have some fries, then get up, go to the gym, go on a bike ride, have a massage. That is balance and well-being. Now we're gonna go and eat. They have a roast. They have a roast or a barbecue. So I think we're hoping we can get a little roast. I don't know. What do you fancy roast? Could be down with a roast. Could be down. Should we just go see what? Should we just go see what's going on? We are having a little roast dinner outside. Would you look at this? That broccoli has my name on it. Yum. Honey, we're home. So we have had the nicest stay at Formby. Thank you so much to Formby Hall for having us for our lovely gifted press day. It was amazing. We needed that, didn't we, Matt? Cycling together. Oh, we didn't find the beach, by the way, because I was too scared to cycle on a busy roundabout. But we did have such a nice trip together. I feel like I don't really see Matt anymore, even though he lives with me. Because <laughs> um, we're both just super busy. So that was nice, wasn't it? And the roast dinner was great. I treated us to that at the end. So, I'm going to tidy the house and I'm just whipping up these cookies, which, by the way, I think this might be my best cookie recipe ever. Is it? They are unreal. They are unreal. So, I'm just whipping these up and we have a Greek on the way for our dinner before a busy week ahead. Tuesday, just got out of the gym, having a deliciously at bar. I buy these all the time. Try to find a quiet place to vlog. I get so awkward. Um, so I just did a blaze class at Harbour Club in Kensington, which is owned by David Lloyd. That's me trying to hide the fact I'm vlogging in public. <laughs> um, just did a class at Harbour Club Kensington, which is yeah the David Lloyd, but the uh, Kensington one. Such a hard class, I was literally dripping with sweat. Jumped in the shower, got ready, and now I'm dashing over to South Kensington. I'm just walking from here to a place called Martin de Richville, and I probably pronounced that wrong, but I'm going for their body remod. Oh my gosh, this is what happens when I try and vlog. Um, now an alarm's going off. Body remodeling treatment, I think, but I'll tell you more about it when I've had it and when I'm in there, because it's just meant to be amazing. It's meant to be good to kind of fight fatigue, to get rid of bloating. I'm super bloated all the time, as you guys know, always fatigued, so I'm hoping that this is gonna be a nice energizing treatment. Apparently it hurts, but apparently it's worth it. So let's see, let's go over. I literally have five minutes to get there, so I'm eating while sweating on the way. It's very hot today. And I was kindly invited to review this treatment.
Guys, I am back. Let me talk to you about that. Wow, that was so interesting. So I am massively, massively, massively into my fitness. This dress is way too big for me my health and all of that jazz so i was asking so many questions basically i went into the treatment room martin de richville i know i'm pronouncing it wrong but that's what it's called they have one in paris one in new york one in south kensington in london i'll leave the link below and as i mentioned this was a complimentary treatment they asked me to go in and then i can talk about it and i definitely want to go for more sessions so i can review this properly i read a lot of things online about how much it hurts what they do is they like grab your body like that and if you squeeze say like your leg where you've kind of got more fat stores because that's normal you'd push it oh it's very tense and you can see like close up kind of like the fat stores the idea of the treatment is it's meant to get rid of those fat stores and get rid of toxins out of your body it is so weird and it definitely hurts in certain parts so my inner thighs absolutely killed me and my lower back really 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 hurt me my arms were fine the stomach was the hardest bit now you're probably like em it hurts why are you telling me about this but what it is, is he said it's either like the bad toxins coming out of my body, maybe alcohol, bad food or whatever, or it could just be a buildup of lactic acid because I work out a lot coming out of the body. The first session hurts the most and then it gets better after that. People see results and feel lighter, less bloated, less fatigued after the first session, but they recommend five to ten sessions for women and five sessions for men. And I just talked to the therapist the whole time through. He said I might be a bit sore tomorrow as if I've kind of like been to the gym. Um, and I'm definitely a bit sore on my legs. I noticed that this part of my leg absolutely killed when he was doing it. I wouldn't say it killed. I'm being a bit overdramatic. I would say it's a weird feeling. It feels like someone's just pinching your fat <laughs> and rolling it out with like a rolling pin, even though he just uses his hands and the massage technique. But he said that that's linked to my liver. So who knows? I feel like it's definitely made me want to drink less alcohol. It's made me feel like, okay, these are probably all of these toxins that have been in my body for years and years. They also do a facial one as well that lifts the face. But it was really interesting and really, really cool. So I would definitely recommend it if you are someone that's into body treatments. Obviously, it's not a relaxing massage. It's something that's meant to get rid of toxins and detoxify the body. So I just went to Whole Foods, grabbed some food, and then I have a super busy day. It's so dangerous living next to a Whole Foods, but it's so healthy and it's so good good so rather than getting prep today i got whole foods i probably spend the same amount in prep anyway so i've just been catching up on some work for an hour and now i'm heading over to richard ward which i actually read the other day kate middleton goes there to get her hair done apparently i'm going to get some gel nails done because my gels have come off and i'm heading to ibiza in the morning so they have very kindly booked me in for a complimentary little gel appointment i'm excited to try them out and that's just at sloan square in chelsea then after that, I'm heading for a very, very exciting event that I was invited to, to get my hair done at Salon Sloan. I'm having a filler treatment, so I feel like I'm going to look like a new woman. New hair, new nails, I'm going to tan and pack when I get back. So let's go take you guys with me. Oh hey guys, I am just wearing a little bra. <laughs> I had a treatment called the filler treatment at Salon Sloan, which they kindly invited me in to review. Basically, they put you under like foil, not foil, cling film, and then you feel like an egg. I looked like an actual egg. Then they blow dry it out, and it basically is meant to restore the hair, makes it shiny, and it feels good so far. But she said I should go back again after I've been in the sun in Ibiza. It's basically done for like damaged hair or hair that's been in the sun. Why are you looking at me? You might want sushi, don't you? And then after that went to Itsu. So much stuff. These are literally a game changer, I swear. And I've never actually tried these. And then I've got a hot thing. And I'm whipping up some cookies because Matt loves my cookies, don't you, Matt? They are unreal. So I'm whipping up some more cookies. We're gonna have a big Itsu feast for dinner. And then I'm gonna love you guys and leave you. Teamwork makes a dream work. Fresh out of the oven. Oh my days. Guys, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I'm gonna go and have a cookie. Oh, so good. I will vlog the recipe soon. The next 
time you see me on Instagram, I will be in Ibiza, so please come say hello. Instagram has been a bit of a pain at the moment. Not showing everyone's pictures, so it would mean a lot if you came and said hello over there. Let me know that YouTube sent you. And thank you so much for watching my video. There'll be another video, another video live on Sunday. Big, big, big love. Bye!